victory. Two, two one. You don't say the one. Whatever. I know you see somebody's gonna come to me and be so wonderful. Live life, breathe air. I know someday we're gonna get there. It's all in your head. And I'll tell you. Welcome to I. <laughs> Welcome to Behind the Frames. I just cracked my back. You just cracked her back? I did. Dude, we should run we should do a web show called I Behind the Frames. I I frames. I frames. I frames. That sounds like a um, glasses Apple would make. No. Uh, don't doesn't Apple already have glasses? Oh. Uh, do they? No, it's Google. Google has the cool like little Terminator looking shit. Yeah. Okay, so for this episode, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but for this episode, what we're going to do, um, I feel like a lot of people do it, but because we don't really do anything, like, cool on this podcast, uh, we're going to play Would You Rather. Wow. Wow, yeah. So fun. Would you rather have $1 or $5? Uh, $1. Why $1? Because you know what you can buy with $1? What can you buy with $1? Something that's a dollar. Uh, something that's a dollar. Yeah. Wow. Or 100 pennies, which is also nice. Pennies? Think about five dollars, though, right? Okay. 500 pennies. But who wants that many pennies? But who wants 100 pennies? Hmm. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln's dead. Shot in the head. Hey! Sorry. It's okay. It's not okay. All right. Um, I feel like they've already lost interest. They have, and if you're here still, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Um, damn, I should be really prepared. I got. <laughs> okay. Would you rather see what's behind every closed door, or be able to guess a combination of every safe on the first try? I can't even comprehend that question. Basically, would you be would Would you want to see what's behind the door before going into it? Or would you be, want to have the ability to uh, know the safe code of every safe without, like, a second try? Okay, so what if you're, like, it's your birthday, right? Yeah. And you're, someone's throwing you a surprise party, and you have no idea about it. But yeah. then you go, and you see all the people, and it's, like, it's not a mm-hmm. surprise anymore. It would ruin it. But, but, but you could still act surprised. Because what if you're what if you're a person who doesn't like being surprised? Why wouldn't you like surprises? Because what if you have anxiety, or what if you get scared so easily that you like start punching everybody? You go. Bah! Mm. Then I think you need to grow up. I don't think I need to grow yeah. up. Yeah, you need to grow up and learn how to handle surprises. Surprises is also shouldn't be. It's what I don't what? know. Okay, but what? what's your answer? I forgot the question. <laughs> would you rather be able to look behind every door or know every safe code hmm see the thing about that is if you knew all of the answers yeah then you wouldn't get anywhere knew the answers of the safe code yeah what do you mean I wouldn't get anywhere or who whatever, who would ever not get anywhere cause you wouldn't need to get anywhere what do you mean? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> We're going to move on to the next question. All right. And Let's then, it. what's it called? <laughs> Sing a song for them all. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. This is the Behind the Frame show with CJ and Mondo. And it's going to go like... The condo up in New York, where it's expensive, thousand dollars a night, going to go out and go on a fight. Yo, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Two photographers in the Bay Area, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Two photographers in the Bay Area. What's up, wicka wicka word, word. Let's talk about that. What? Okay. I need to find a way. To get 
out there. Like, I need to get my name. Like, see, this this is my name right here, right? Okay. I'm picking it up, throwing it out there. I'm not, How editing, do I do that? I'm not editing that, by the way. I didn't ask you. But I'm just saying that <laughs> when you're doing shit like that, I'm not editing it. <laughs> okay, but so let's talk about putting your name out there. Yeah. By the way, if you see, if you hear cars in the background again, we're still in my garage, and the garage is open. Yeah, and, it's okay. Uh, just ignore it. It's not, don't, I just want to, you know, tell the viewers, but going back to how to put your name out there. So you simply take a piece of paper. All right. Write down your name. Okay. What's your name? I, don't, I know where this is going, so no. Okay. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so put your name, right? And then write it down. Once you write it down, I want you to lift up to the world. And just okay. release it, right? All right? Just hope you don't get caught, because if you get caught, you're going to get fined a thousand dollars for littering. No, but really, um, I think you'll get there. I think someone will pick you up. Hopefully, someone will, Maybe. you know, be like, whoop, you know. Right. Like, oh. Or what you could do is instead of waiting for someone to see your name, you make your name, ne- you make your name, made. Wow, <laughs> that's the thing. Well, I mean, every great person, fortune ba- favors the bold. Did you, fortune like, favors queen. the bold. Let's talk about mm. Queen, right? Okay, let's talk about Queen. Queen was just like a s- s- local band, right? And then they, you know, saved up enough, enough money to do their uh, get a studio and made their first album. And then okay. what followed afterwards what was followed? a huge following, right? Wow. And how they get the following? Because of Freddie Mercury's, you know, singing abilities and his fun buoyancy and everything like that. Do you think that's it? What? Do you think that, oh, he has a great voice. Well, I mean, here's the thing. What, when Bohemian Rhapsody was first introduced, no, I'm only getting those from the movie, but the, no, uh, the studios didn't like it. No one liked it at first, right? Okay. But then, you know, over time it became a cultural phenomenon. Right? Phenomena. 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 Okay, let's talk about um, any successful... Look at Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, all of them, okay. right? I can't look at them because they're not in front of me. But what they all have in common is a uh, sense of perseverance, you know? They didn't stop at all. I mean, sure, Steve Jobs got fired at first in, in his first years of, at Apple, but did he stop? No, he created another company. Isn't he did. Technically, he stopped. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> but, you know, in the beginning, he created his another company to rival Apple, and Apple was like, fuck, because uh, Apple was losing hella money, so they're like, you know what, let's buy back Steve Jobs, right? Basically, if you watch Office, and remember when Michael, oh, spoilers, but if you want, uh, you saw, you know how Michael did his own paper company? Yeah. It was kind of like that, right? Did Michael stop, even though they knew, everybody knew he was going to fail? No. Okay. But he wanted to stop. Who? Michael. Michael didn't want to stop. He, he loved did. that company. If he loved no. something so much, he'd keep going. He, he almost gave up. He almost gave up. Isn't that right? But he almost gave up. Okay. In the office. But, Michael. But he almost did it. Who who is there to support him? Pamela. Okay. So and you need people to support you. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. That's not what you're trying to get at. I'm not trying to get at. I was trying to <laughs> prove your point. But um I don't know, in, ter- in, ter- uh, in terms of making a name for yourself, I think you just got to be bold. Like, you can't be a cookie cutter. You got to be you gotta hands-free. Be cutter. You got to be hands-free mode. Not the cookie. Yes, sir. But, um, I mean, one day, probably your name, probably our name is probably the whole damn world is going to know who we are, you know? Yeah. Yeah? You silly goose? Yeah? I'm so sorry. But, um... I mean, in all honestly, just start small, you know? Like, I mean... What do you mean? Like, look at every creator that has ever stepped onto social media, right? Even the people we think that don't deserve to be famous. You know why they're famous right now? Why are they famous? Even though they don't, like, you know, some people kind of just, like, are just doing whatever to get by. The thing that separates them and us is that they just been doing it no matter like how many times they fail, you know? What's it called? I can admit to myself and to everybody that um, my arrogance, my stubbornness is what probably is keeping me from reaching new heights because I'm just like, well, I think, you know, I shouldn't stoop to that level. But so, honestly, 
sometimes you should, you know, sometimes you should go with the trends of flow, you know, because every, if you keep having that mentality of, oh, I want to be different, I want to do this differently, you know, then it's just like, where are you going to go? Because if you're going to keep going against the trend, where? Sorry. Can I, I can kill it? Go ahead, kill it. It's too far now. Okay. okay. Continue. But, you know, where are you going to be if you keep having that mentality of like, oh, I don't want to do what everybody's doing, you know? And it was just like, um, what's, sorry, there's people, I got it's nervous. Okay. But you know what I need to do, I need to go find people, like, other than you, obviously. Damn, he's You're cheating on me. He wants to cheat, he wants to cheat on me, I don't I care. Know. I need, like, model friends and photographers. So I'm not enough for you. I'm not good enough I to model? I need more than, okay. Damn. Okay, that's not fair. That is fair. That's not fair. There it is. That's okay. So, so you want to be with that mosquito more than just kidding? Nah. Hey, you never know. That that mosquito might have some skills. Might be the next horror movie icon. But I understand you. I feel the same way. I'm just kidding. Yeah, just busting your balls. How do you find people? Like even on my feed, you know what I mean? I, I hardly see like photographers on my feed, and I don't see what I, what I want to see. I I just see like random people. What's it called? Do you, just go through my followers <laughs> or my following. That's creepy. Okay, but um, there are people like that. It's just it's hard nowadays with the coronavirus pandemic. And, well, since I'm a shy guy, it's hard for me to be like, you know, mess with something like, hey, you want to go on a shoot or, you know, and all that. But um, you want to go on a shoot. And the, 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 the thing is, too, also, it's hard to, like, Ask people to go hang out and do shoots, but still ask for money at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know I keep on touching okay. it. Okay. <laughs> but, um, like, how, how do you find balance? Like, how do you know who to ask for? Like, not ask money for. Obviously, I've never asked anyone for money, like, for shooting. Like, I've always waited for them to come to me with that. Mm -hmm. But, like, how do you differentiate, like, people you want to collab with versus, like, customers? You know what I mean? Mm hmm that's a hard part. Okay. The thing I've come to realize is that, um, you know, customers are just good. They just want one simple thing. That's a product from you, correct? Yeah. But collaborators, it's when you, both of you have a collective vision inside and, you know, you guys want to create something, right? It's more, I, the way I see it is that, um, Sometimes I don't even like to think of money when I, you know, collabing. Because yeah. it's just like, um, I feel like if you start focusing on money, like, if you, if you focus on money, like, in the beginning, it's just doomed to fail just because it's like, um, especially when you're starting out, because it's just like, uh, you know, if you put money at the center of the table, that's all you're going to be focused on, right? And the thing you should be focused on is making the art together. Because if the art you make together is great, the money will follow. Or, yeah. you know, whoever wants to hire you will go, like, on next and all that shit, right? Like, um, see, I could be wrong, but at the same time, it's just, like, um, with my photography and everything that I do, it's always the art first and the money follows, you know? Hopefully. And as far as model, like, for models, that's something I struggle, too, because it's, like, there are things that I want to do that are very experimental yeah. in the sense of, like, oh, I want to do this concept, but... Is anyone willing to do it? I don't know if anybody's willing to do it for free, but I'm pretty sure there will be like up and comers who want to like take their hand in modeling, right? And I think, um, you know, it it's gonna be different because like if a model comes up to you, then they're asking for your vision, right? But if you're coming up for a model, you're asking them to be your subject. Sorry, I yawn a lot, but yeah, um, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's a weird. Thing. it's a weird thing it's a weird thing but you know i think as much as long as you put your work out there and you're consistent with everything you do and you have a aesthetic that's something that i think um we both need to find like our aesthetic i think yeah. i'm on the brink of it but at the same time i'm still kind of exploring different avenues but if you have a collective or a main aesthetic you have people will be drawn to that you know yeah, I'm trying to find mine. Like, I thought I had it, mm -hmm. but but I don't. Yeah. Oh, shit. I got it. No, I didn't. 
I don't know why I'm ready to throw hands. Where'd it go? I hope it doesn't bite, you know, try to kill it. Why the hell am I trying to throw hands up? Anyways. (sighs) Hmm. Oh, man. I have a question. Would you rather be a successful rich person, but all your art isn't um, that great, or would you rather be a poor person, but your art is meaningful? Hmm. I don't know. Because... I mean, like, of course, I want my work to be recognized, Mm -hmm. you know, but I don't want to work for free. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to be poor my whole life. I want to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live in poverty, Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's my answer. I don't want to live in poverty. That's cool. Well, you know, I want to live in poverty. Just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But no, I think, uh. I don't know. I feel like I probably would be a sellout. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone thinks that they want it be, you know, but in reality, I think anyone would be. I mean, if you think about it, like, um, look at all the famous actors, you know. I'm pretty sure a lot of people took gigs just for the money, you know. Yeah, like, you kind of have to. You can't just... But I think... Uh, a great example of someone who has done a lot of shitty gigs but en- ended up becoming great is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I mean, think about the movies he's made, right? All terrible. Not all of them are terrible. Yeah. Okay, but, debatable. Okay, let's look at like, like, <laughs> Scor- like Scorpion King, like the second and like last one, right? I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen that. Or what, like Skyscraper or any of the other like That movie cheesy, about, yeah, those are all cheesy. Like the Rampage or whatever, right? Yeah. Like even though they're cheesy, he's still making hell of money. Yeah, he's making hell. I don't, that's the thing though, like people like that, you know what I mean? With such, such a uh, public you know, recon- recognition. Mm. Like, they don't really have to make anything good. They just have to kind of slap their name on it and call it theirs. True. You know? Like, that's all, That's it. That's all you but, I do. mean, like, also, going back to The Rock, I mean, he was supposed to be a... Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, but The Rock also, um, you know, he was in the WWE, right? Yeah. And in the WWE... Okay, I'm so sorry. I've been watching WWE a lot lately, especially the Attitude Era. So I will slay the smack down on some facts. But in the beginning, The Rock... Those are the facts, by the way. <laughs> the Rock was coming back for... Or what, he was a third-generation superstar, right? His grandfather was um, a you know WWE superstar. His, also, his dad was also a superstar. But then it was him, right? So he had to make a name for himself while separating himself from the Johnson legacy, right? So, you know, in the beginning, his character arc was kind of eh, and he was about to fail, right? But then he found his, you know, his ego and all that, and he, you know, became The Rock. And, like, that's what I'm saying is, like, I feel like we had to... um, do a lot of like different things at first to like in order to get now because the thing is if you explore multiple avenues people from those avenues will be like oh shit who's that guy and then once you go forward they're gonna be like oh let's let's follow what he's doing you know yeah yeah i just you i don't know we say this all the time but we really need to work on our um scheduling our how to it, I don't know if it's about scheduling. It's more about self-discipline, you know? I think it's our timing. Because the thing, the reason why it's hard to schedule, I mean, me and you have different lives. Yeah. And it's like, our work schedules, they don't line up at all ever again. No, I'm, t- I'm not talking about, like, just with the podcast. I'm yeah. talking about with anything. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I want to shoot more. Yeah. I have the time, you know, it's not like I work mm-hmm. a ton. Mm-hmm. I do work a lot yeah. or not, not, not even, I don't work a lot or yeah. a couple of days a week. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I have the time to take pictures, but I don't. Yeah. And I, why don't I, you know, like I, I want to do it. So why don't I just do it? <laughs> What's it called? Um, it's the opposite for me actually. Yeah. What's it called? I have a bunch of pictures. Um, like, you know, I need to work on 
like right now I have a set and then another set and then so for shooting it's just like I feel a little bit burnt out yeah and that's not how, what I've been feeling lately I've been burnt out with uh, shooting but um, I just need to work on my editing schedule and that's all but it's only because uh, life is busy but yeah I, I get what you mean about wanting to shoot more like there are days where I just want to um, I want to shoot but then I think I just get ahead of myself and then I'm just like ah uh, shit what if it doesn't go as well yeah, I you know, um, I have a lot of pictures that I haven't edited. I have like probably a thousand five hundred. Damn. Yeah. It's not because I, I you know, I honestly think it's because I what I'm working with. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't have a a work area that I can just like go to sure. bam, knock all of it out. You know what I think we need? We need a second wind. Because, yeah. like, here's why I see, I see myself families. I can't speak for you because you're you. Um, but it's just like when we started in May, you know, we were like zoom, zoom, right? June it went down a little bit, and then we hit, hit it back up in August, right? Yeah. And then, like, what's it called? You know, we're steady, right? And then, you know, recently it's been kind of up and down, right? I think we need an, an extra push, like, something to, like, push us to be like i want to do this or at least not for me you know yeah because my spark's there it just needs more fuel that's all and it's uh you know it's refreshing when you have like um, artist friends to talk yeah. to because you know obviously if you have like not even like people who just do the same thing as we do but just different avenues like uh, art like paintings and then music right what's it called seeing what they're doing and also see what others are doing too like it in your mind it kind of pushes you to be a bit better because you're just like damn they're doing something and excelling in it and i want to be excelling at what i want to do you know yeah yeah like my cousin in uh uh new zealand you know every time i see his work i'm just like shit it's so good but then you know, I get sad because it was like so damn good that I'm never going to compete. But then at the same time, whenever I talk to him, he's like the sweetest man ever. And he like pushes me to be better. And, you know, I, like, I appreciate that about him, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I I need more. I, I You know what I miss? Um, like meetups. You know what oh, I mean? Like, man. that's one thing that I really wish would come back like photography meetups dude i missed my chance of doing a meetup two years ago and i i regret it so much i know yeah i missed i was on um this is instagram page called like bay area meetups yeah like photographer meetups right mm -hmm. and during that time i was a security guard so i was like my schedule was like completely you know booked i, I wasn't free at all yeah and Every week they had a meetup, and every week I was working, and it sucked. Like I never got to go to one. Same. <laughs> well, for me it was an SF. And yeah. Then, yeah. So I would have to take the BART or the ferry. I mean, you know, go over there, and then also not also risk having my camera with me, and then yeah. you know, kind of just not risk not getting jumped or you know robbed. It's it's scary going like out of town alone yeah. with your own you know like equipment. Yeah. Stuff. You never know what's gonna happen. That's why I always like need someone with me. If I'm if I'm ever going to the city, like I can't be alone. Yeah. Unless if like, it's only if I have my like stuff with me. But if like I'm just there to explore, then I'll probably just be okay. But I can't have my shit out there without no protection. I I, don't, I wouldn't even like leave my stuff in the car. Yeah. No. Like, cause um, recent or a uh, few a month ago or two, um, someone in San Francisco was doing a shoot right, and he was loading up his. Uh, his equipment in his car and it was like two three thousand dollars worth of equipment and like the sad part was that he uh saved up for it all for it to have been stolen and that stuff because someone was uh um following him the whole time and like once there was an opening they just went in and took it dang that's yeah. what people do they follow you that's only they you know go. yeah yeah um but yeah i have you know it's crazy i haven't even been to san francisco since like years probably like one or two years one or two years yeah yeah it's been a long time well how maybe less maybe like maybe i'm exaggerating what's it called uh, but it's 
like the way we picture it, you know, in our heads, mm -hmm. it's not the way it is anymore. Yeah. You know, with San Francisco, I always saw it as like our version of New York City, correct? And, you know, and as a kid, you're always thinking that in a simplistic form that it's going to be, oh, big buildings and everything, yeah. right? But um, when I went to San Francisco, like, alone for uh, the, like, with my ex, right? I haven't been to SF for years. And then when we went, right, um, what's it called? I just remember, like, I remember when we were walking, I was just like, this isn't what I thought it was, you know? Yeah. Uh, no disrespect to San Francisco or... Um, anybody who lives there but i mean it's super crowded there like oh yeah when we, when we were walking you know it was just like you're bumping into someone like every second you know and then also you smell piss and everything at every corner yeah. <laughs> and then there's just like some areas that you know you should like walk past and everything and it sucks because it's just like damn you know and i maybe it's because i'm not a city boy we lived in you know the suburbs our whole lives um you call these the suburbs this is the suburbs bro <laughs> Maybe where you live. What's it called? Well, you live in downtown. That's why. Huh? You live in downtown. Two minutes. 25. 25 minutes. So we have to... Do you want to... Okay, we're going to cut here, and then we're going to do another, right? Yeah? You want to do that, or... 25 minutes? It's 26. 26 minutes. You want to stop recording, and then we're going to re pick it up again? Yeah. We'll just go... We'll just continue this, like, segment. Okay. But should we just yeah. okay? We're, stop so stop it and then we're gonna cut it. Okay, stop. Um, and then yeah, press it again. Awesome, cool. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, when I went to San Francisco, I was just like, damn, this is like such a crowded city, and yeah. like it's with with all due respect, it's filthy. You know? Oh, definitely, it's disgusting in San Francisco. Yeah. Um. I forgot what I was going to say. You're asking if this was the suburbs. Yeah, this isn't... Th I don't know. This I is the suburbs. Not where I'm from. It's not. Well, you live in downtown, that's why. Yeah. Oh, I had a funny story. That's what I was going to say. Oh, goodness. I had a story about San Francisco. I was there with my cousins. I don't know. Maybe I've said this already. No, but, you haven't. Um, <laughs> I was there with my cousins, and we were walking uh, Union Square. Yeah. And we're like walking through this alley. We're going to the Cheesecake Factory, and um, I was probably like ten. My cousins were all three years apart, so I don't know. You guys do the math. Um, <laughs> Thirteen. No, they're, I'm the oldest. Oh, so seven. Yeah, there were seven. I was probably when I like twelve or thirteen. Okay, um, but anyway, I'll say there were like seven and and four, right? Oh, They're brothers. Uh -huh. And um, I was I was with. Two other ones do have like four cousins, and the the main the two brothers, uh, the youngest one was like walking, and then he was like, "Oh, mom, I have to pee, right?" <laughs> and so they stop and they start peeing, and they're both peeing together, and he just turns and pees on his brother, <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't have any clothes, so we just went the whole day. With his brother covered in pee. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. When was this? It was like years ago? It was years ago. Oh, in SF? Yeah. And, but yeah, we were on our way to the Cheesecake Factory. And we were <laughs> we were sat and ate dinner. Smelling like pee? Smelling like pee. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. It was, was it the one in the, like where you had to go up the elevator? Yeah, the one that was all the way at the top. Yeah. Oh man. I just... I uh, imagine the people were just like, oh. <laughs> because you know how everybody's so close together. Yeah. <laughs> like, who the fuck pissed their pants? <laughs> but man, but yeah, dude. Like, I feel like when you're young, you think of the city as this magical place. Yeah. But when you're older, you realize that it's not so magical, and it's filled with, um, you know, it's it's yeah, just filled with a lot of people stuff, like a lot of things, you know. Yeah. Like. I think that's due to the fact that politics and corruption and all that shit, you know? I mean, it, it can be a beautiful place. Don't it get me wrong. Be. But there's a lot of ugly. But um, that's actually something that I've been thinking about a lot, too. Especially around here in Vallejo. When um, I went with a friend to go to Bud's, right? And part of me was thinking, I was just like, man, if I had the money, I would reinvest in Vallejo, you know? Like, 
with like this the staples that we have or like the restaurants and everything like you know everywhere could be a beautiful place but yeah. the thing is like no one invests in it anymore you know um, it's always the new thing you know so if you have the old thing you just leave it to the shit and then you know build a new thing but then and I, the thing is it's if you build a new like a, like a, a clean space in, within like a dirty area no one's gonna recognize a clean space you know yeah that's or, I don't know what's gonna what the, <laughs> just kidding it's like, I have a challenge for us to do hold on say that again okay I have a challenge for us to do uh huh if you're down Okay. Um, let's go out around the city separately or together it doesn't matter whatever okay. you want to do and let's try to capture like how we view the city you know mm-hmm. what I mean like or I don't know let's try to capture the beauty in the city how about that so street and, photography yeah street photography <laughs> and but yeah I guess you could say that yeah <laughs> street photography whatever let's come back <laughs> next next week on our podcast mm-hmm. well two and weeks because yeah. 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 by the way next week for you guys next week or t- oh. no next week next week next week we gotta commit okay then what happened last week <laughs> just kidding what do you mean what happened last it's been two weeks in our last episode bro it's been two weeks yeah wait how's it been no it's been one week no two weeks it's been one week two weeks 14th it's was the release right and it's the twenty seventh or twenty eighth tomorrow, right? So it was two. It was, it's been fourteen days. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but yeah. Um. But yeah. Next week. Next we'll come, week we'll come at you. Those picks. Yes, we'll, we will. Right here, they're gonna be right in front of our faces. Yes. Yes, sir. Right there. But what's it called? I'm not editing that. We need an editor. If you're an editor <laughs> out there. Hit us up. Like, we're not yeah. going to, we can't pay you yet, but if you want to, like, yeah. work on your editing. Also, any models or photographers or videographers or, or producers. Like, yeah. We need people, bro. Yeah, just people. If Honestly, you're a person. Here, you know, let me, yeah. let me, let me pitch this out for you if you're, if you're in need of work. Okay, the camera's right there. Hi. How, co- hello. What, uh. If you're in need for work, don't come to us. Like, if you, if you need money, like, don't yeah. come to us. But if you're looking for experience. Experience is. What you'll come to exactly. Us for. What's it called? Yeah. If if you're a editor, photographer, videographer, producer, model, or all of those things in one, please reach out to us. Yeah. Um, we're looking to build a team. Yeah. Team ten, minus nine. Minus nine. That's team one. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> but um, please do so. Uh, we're we're in dire need. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But let's do it. Street photography. Okay, the only thing it's cold I. Cold in here. Sorry. The only thing what? It's cold in here, but I'm wearing nothing. But <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, do you want me to close the garage for you? No, I don't. And I don't. Halt production no. right now? Okay. No. But uh, with street photography. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can't help with? No. <laughs> is, uh, is it. Okay. Okay, Siri. Um, what's it called? How do you feel about street photography? Because I'm still kind of iffy about it. I, I've been trying to get more into it. Because um, all I really do is portraits. And trying to change it up a little bit. I just need a smaller camera. What's it called? Because the thing is, if you got a big-ass DSLR, people will know. And that's the thing that I'm conscious about. It's just like, if I take a picture of a random dude, like, I don't want him to look at me and like it'll be awkward later. You know? Scrossy. I'm not fast like that. I gotta take my time. I compose my shit. Here's what you do. You get one of those costumes that's like headless, right? <laughs> and and then where the where okay, you take the shoulder part. There's a mosquito by you, by the way. Where? Right there. My head. It's on your head. It's right there. Is it gone? No, it's like still it's right there behind you. Don't hit it. That's our set. I better go. Okay. Yeah, it's seven. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up, but we'll see you next week. And also, fucker, what's it called? If, if you, um, like we said, if you're an editor, photographer, model, videographer, we're all good. Um, we'll see you next week. Um, I, to be honest, we're just going to put our Instagrams and everything at the end. You know, there's really no point. But you can find us at... Uh, oh. Oh, that died. <laughs> well, it's time to go anyway. So thank you. Um, 
Love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Ka-chow.